American presidential inaugurations are always meant to be a showcase of the peaceful transition of power. There have been 59 of them, some during times of war and political instability. None of them, though, were like what we witnessed today. Eric Sorensen reflects on what's changed and what's stayed the same. On this very spot, a shaken democracy wrapped in a pandemic inside a shattered economy. There's never been an inauguration like it. The oldest president in American history came with the oldest of inaugural messages. It is a time to heal and for unity. History, faith, and reason show the way, the way of unity. Historically, a brief but reliable moment when presidential goodwill binds a divided nation. I thank Vice President Gore for a contest conducted with spirit and ended with grace. We must do these things together as one nation and one people. Presidents have embraced this extraordinary occasion to transfer power peacefully. This every four-year ceremony we accept as normal is nothing less than a miracle. But this ritual of optimism was splintered in a single presidency. This American carnage stops right here and stops right now. President Trump would spend four years fostering grievances among Americans, and when they'd finally had enough, he sulked away in the final hours of his presidency. The cordial transition from one president to the next, the rides, the handshakes, even among bitter rivals, Donald Trump couldn't bear it. And so he wasn't there. The first presidential snub of an inauguration in more than 150 years. This is so unique. We're ending a presidency that was like no other. Democrats are excited about a new president and a, and a new start. But I think a lot of it is more uh, relief and exhaustion um, that things are getting back on track. The final gesture of transition left to vice presidents, where presidents should have stood. This is our historic moment of crisis and challenge. Joe Biden has rekindled a spirit of renewal, something to help reassure Americans. But they will long remember an inauguration with flags instead of crowds, the National Guard armed and alert, and the 45th president, who was a no-show, as the 46th began his presidency. Eric Sorensen, Global News.